Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this write on title effect in Final Cut Pro. It can be a pretty tedious task to do manually, and I always wish there was a plugin that could do it for me. Well, now there is, so stick around to find out more about the plugin and how you stand a chance to win the plugin for yourself. Let's first take a look at how to create the write on text effect manually, and then I'll show you how the handwriting plugin works. I have this title here with the word Venice on it, and the first thing I'm going to do is add the draw mask effect directly onto my title. I'll move my playhead to the very beginning of the title and I'll start to draw a few points like this. You're going to want to add quite a few points, more than you think you might need, and you'll see why in just a sec. That should be enough for this title. I'll close the mask and you'll notice that my text disappears. While we keyframe the mask, I want to be able to see my text, so I'll head over to the inspector window and change the view here to original. Next, click on this keyframe icon to set a keyframe for all of your control points. If I drop this down here, you can see the position of each of the control points I just created. Okay, let's start keyframing this mask to create the write on effect on this text. I'll move my playhead forward two frames by using the right arrow key, and I'll adjust the mask to slowly start revealing the text. There are two things I would do at this point to make the process easier. Number one, with your title selected, hit Ctrl V to show your video animation properties so that you can easily see where your keyframes are. Number two, if I try to move this control point, I might accidentally grab the text and move it. So to avoid that, hit H to switch to the hand tool while you move your control points. I'll move forward two frames again and adjust the mask to reveal more of the text. Let's do that again and we can do this until the letter V has been totally keyframed in. At this point, I'll go back frame by frame to see if anything strange is happening in between these keyframes, and if there is, I can just adjust that slightly to smooth it out. Let's quickly switch the view mode back to composite and move through this section frame by frame so that we can see what it looks like. We're making progress, and it looks pretty good. Let's switch back to original view and move on to the letter E. I'll move forward just one frame, and I'll bring some of these control points over to the E and get them in position. This is why we drew all of these extra points at the beginning. Now that they're in position, I'll move two frames forward and I'll start to mask in the E. I'm going to speed this process up because it's much of the same thing. So you'll move forward two frames at a time, adjusting your control points as you go, and then go frame by frame to smooth it out. Creating this write on text effect manually is pretty time consuming and masking these six letters took me about 10 minutes to do. Let's switch back to composite view and I'll play that back. If you want to speed it up, you can create a compound clip by hitting Alt-G, and then let's hover over the point here where the mask is done animating in and hit Shift-B to create a speed cut. I'll click on the drop down over here and I'll make this double speed. So now the animation will happen in double time and then we speed ramp back to 100% speed. This is what it looks like. It's not a difficult effect to pull off, but it does take some time to do, and this is where LenoFX's handwriting title plugin comes in handy. If you take a look at what you get in the handwriting title plugin, you'll see that there are two different fonts, Just Another Hand and Pacifico. You can choose between lowercase and uppercase letters, glyphs, numbers, and whether you want the letters to write on fast or slow. You also have a chalkboard background and a guide that you can use to position your text. Let's use the Just Another Hand font and take the letters uppercase fast version and drag and drop that title onto your footage. I'll retime it to fit and head over to the inspector to change its properties you'll see that it works on a letter by letter basis. So I can change letter one to V, letter two to E, and work my way through the rest of the letters, adding each letter. Once I have the word spelled out, I can adjust the tracking of all the letters to space it out, and I can adjust the scale if need be as well. If I need to adjust any of the letters individually, like the N over here, I can adjust the kerning of that letter to reposition it. I'll play that back, and just like that, we have a nice handwritten write on title effect that literally took me seconds to create. You can use a combination of the titles to add glyphs or numbers, and you can also be creative with them and have each letter animate on separately. To do that, simply duplicate the title and have one letter on each title. Adjust the position of each letter and then offset the start time by 10 frames. The result is a letter by letter animation that looks like this. There are pros and cons to creating this write on text effect manually versus using the plugin. Doing it manually allows you to use any font you want, but it's time consuming to create and animate the masks for the entire word. Using the plugin limits you to only two fonts, 
but you can literally create a very pleasing looking write on effect in seconds, which I think is amazing. This video is sponsored by Leno FX, who make all sorts of really great plugins, and they are letting me give away their amazing handwriting plugin to three lucky people. If you want to enter the giveaway, please follow the link in the description down below to fill out your details, but also like this video and subscribe to the channel. The giveaway will be open for entries for two weeks from the date that this video goes live, but if you missed it or you just can't wait two weeks to get your hands on this amazing plugin, then there's another link in the description that you can use to go and purchase it. One last thing before I go, there are more giveaways lined up which you don't want to miss out on, so make sure you hit that notification bell or else you might miss out on some really cool stuff. Take care guys and I'll catch you in the next one.